Hey everyone, it's Katie and this is Sasha. Just thought I'd take a minute to introduce her to you because she's always in my lap. Um, anyway, I'm here today to do my TBR for the rest of the year. Now you might be wondering, why are you doing your TBR for the rest of the year? And I have mostly two reasons. One, I typically don't read a whole lot in a month that so my videos wouldn't really be worthwhile or maybe just me talking about one book or one series and just repeating myself over and over again and I figured that that probably wouldn't be too fun but also too I'm starting school on Monday and my time is somewhat limited and instead of set deadlines for myself I figured I'd just give you a list of a bunch of books that I plan to read and Anyway, um, the first book series, I guess, I'm reading is on my Kindle, and it's called Animorphs by Catherine Applegate, and it is a middle grade sci-fi series about aliens invading the Earth, but also people's minds, they control them, and they're called Yerks. And there is also another race of aliens that are fighting the Yerks called the Andalites. And when the this one really important Andalite gets killed, he transfers the power to morph into animals to five young children. There's Jake, Rachel, Cassie, Tobias, and Marco. And they morph into any animal that they, t they touch, so they acquire their DNA and then they can morph into that animal whenever they want. And basically they're fighting aliens. It's basically about their adventures, fighting aliens and transforming into animals while dealing with all other kinds of physical, emotional, mental, baggage that comes with it and with balancing life and school and just generally growing up. So I mean, you know, even though they're middle grade books, I'm 24, I've never read them before and I'm getting a lot out of them. It deals with a lot of really adult issues like divorce and loss of limbs and adult responsibilities and the fate of the world, etc., etc. And if you've, you know, ever heard of it and you haven't read it, I would still say give them a shot because they might surprise you and I think they're totally worth it. Uh, there are 64 books in the entire series. I'm through seven of them and I hope to be finished with the entire series sometime in mid-October. We'll see. Uh, second on my list is I would like to read Origin by Dan Brown, which is the fifth installment in his Robert Langdon series. It's coming out in early October, and I don't know if I'll read it when it comes out or if I'll wait till Christmas break because I typically like to fully immerse myself into Dan Brown's books and I can't really do that while I'm in school. So even though it comes out in October and that's when I hope to read it, it's not really realistic for me right now so I might just wait to read that until December. But we'll see how I'm feeling at the time. And then while also while I'm in school I was browsing my bookshelf and I found a lot of books that I that have been there for a very long time that I've never read and so I decided to pick up a few of those because they seem fairly quick reads and I don't feel like I might be super emotionally invested but uh, the first book I plan to read from my shelf is Red Wall by Brian Jakes I have had this literally for years and I have never read it. It sounds kind of cute. I've heard generally pretty good things about it. Um, 
but it basically sounds like a medieval tale, kind of King Arthur-esque with rats or mice. I can't really tell based off the cover. But um, as a person who studied a lot of medieval history, I was a medieval studies major in college, this book sounds really fun and it also might make me, might make me laugh a lot since medieval things. So that's first. And then after that, I plan on reading The Tale of Despero by Kate DiCamillo. Or is it DiCamillo? I'm not sure how to say her name. But this sounds like a really cute and whimsical and fun book um, following, I guess, a couple of different characters. But it has a mouse on the cover. And it seems to be kind of fairy tale esque. But. I have also had this book on my shelf for a long time, and I really look forward to reading it. I know there was a movie. I never saw it, but as I said, it sounds kind of fun, and it seems like it'll be a pretty quick and easy read. Um, and so that is the second book, but I'm excited to read it. And then third... Um, hopefully, when I'm still in school, I plan on reading The Sea of Trolls by Nancy Farmer. And this book looks so cool. First of all, I love the cover. It has a Viking ship on it. And I love anything to do with sailing and ships and water. But uh, it also seems to deal with like, Norse mythology and folklore and history and Scandinavian stuff is always really cool to me. I have yet to find really very many um, fantasy series or just any series in general that deals with Norse things and so I'm really excited to delve into this. And you guys are probably like, but what about Percy Jackson? I haven't gotten there yet, but um, for now I'm really excited to delve into this book. And that'll probably, but once I get on to Christmas break, then I will probably start with Origin. That'll take me only a few days, probably. I get through those books fairly quickly. And then I will launch into the next series that I haven't read for Robin Hobb's Realm of the Elderlings. And so I'm on the fourth series of that, which is the Rainwild Chronicle preceded by the three, which are starting with Farce, the Farseer trilogy, then the Live Ships trilogy, and then the Tony Man trilogy. Um, the, Rain Sh the Rain Wild Chronicle it seems to be about dragons, and it seems to be just an, the next installment in the world. I don't know really what they're about, but I'm really excited to read them because I love Robin Hobb and I love The Realm of the Elderlings. I would highly recommend reading those to anybody who loves fantasy pretty much in any form. Um, and for those of you who don't know what it's about, start with the Farseer trilogy because it sets up the entire world and just everything that's going to happen. I mean, some people would say it's okay to start with Live Ship. I would really start with Farseer because there are things in Live Ship that happens that you, if you were to read Farseer would enhance that reading experience, but it's totally up to you. You can start in either place and give the entire first trilogy a try. Like, if you don't like the first book, still continue on with the second one because it's a slow build. It's it's a process, so definitely just give them a good try before you give up. And um, so as I was saying, I'm planning on reading the, starting the fourth series, The Rainwild Chronicle, and I will be reading the first two books, so they are Dragon Keeper and Dragon Haven, in that order. And then probably next summer I'll read City of Dragons and then Blood of Dragons to finish up the that series. 
Um, and so those are the books that I'm going to read over the next several months. And hopefully I'll be able to give you guys some um, updates as to how I'm doing. But um, I'm really excited to delve in. I'm excited to begin my courtship with all these books because I like to have books win me over. I don't necessarily like to go in saying I'm going to love this book and then just be disappointed. I'd rather be go in being like cautiously optimistic. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm excited to start these and to read them. So far, I'm really liking Animorphs, and I expect to continue to like them. Is that I'll keep you updated, and that's all I've got for you today. Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, or follow me on any of the social media links that I've linked below. And I'll come back with another video for you guys again soon. Okay, bye!